uh, site. Y'all thought it wasn't going to be a part two to this. Well, it wasn't at first. However, I have some added comments to add to the video that will further clarify some things. Specifically, the reason why people have a problem with the message. I have been able to have conversations with people who have a problem or have issues with the message almost like it's saying well you know what if you're gonna if you're gonna bring forth a message you have to bring it forth like this you have to bring it forth like that then that's a control issue that or that's a control piece basically controlling the message if you can control your own message then why don't you bring out some stuff that way you have control over the way you desire to put it out I speak at times because there's been some comments where people have left the message basically saying well you speak so clear and uninhibited and you don't really use a lot of curse words so to speak that's because I choose to it's not because of the fact that hey if I curse somebody's gonna think something wrong because I don't really care the reason why I bring across my message as I do is because of that a lot of times as you all know who have listened to prior videos I deal with word sound word frequency and how these words manifest your reality that goes into your subconscious that goes into the subconscious knowledge also so for example if I'm laughing with someone and we're you know joking around and, it, and they be like ha 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 you stupid no I immediately stop that no do not call me stupid I mean I do it in such an abrasive way unless it's happened it's been happening several times and the person just don't get it I deal with that because of the fact that words that we feel do not harm us even in a minor sense they do So that's why I bring the message across or I do my videos as I do them. It's not to say that I don't that, or that I won't eventually put out something that is very similar to the likes of Panic or Alexis Tyler because there's been times where I felt it. You know, may I've been thinking about a particular subject and I might have been like, yo, fuck this shit. Blah, 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 blah. However, I put this out the way I do too because my my nephew whether he knows i know this or not pays very much attention to what i say okay so if he's going to get the message this way fine i wish to make sure that it's loud and clear for him and his friends however i let the words well i don't let them slip i say them so if you find that my message is just like theirs very in similar in the future you hey it's just what it is People who know me personally, most of the time, I may sound like them. However, this is not about me or or specifically me. It's just that, too, also found that a lot of the individuals who have a problem with the messages like that of Panic and Alexis Tyler, a lot of times they are talking specifically to them. Not saying the day when they post the video, I'm sending this out to Rob, or I'm sending this out to this dirty bitch, or the, no. The thing is, is that the natural inclination in yourself to become better than who you are, to be better than who you are, is always speaking to you. However, however, we don't choose to listen because we're too busy, too busy allowing distractions of the media and other people, our peers, friends, whatever, to determine who we're going to be rather than making that decision for ourselves. And a lot of times, especially when Alexis is speaking about women who are allowing themselves to be hoes or whores to guys, I notice a lot of women or, or some of the ones I know jump up in protest. Then when you listen to the story or you listen to their background, it, it's almost like she was talking about them. So a lot of people who get offended at the message, it's because... It's a mirror being placed in you, but it's not a mirror that has a picture of Jesus in the background, which makes it look cool, 
or Mary Magdalene or whatever. What it is, is the blatant drawn out or blatant truth. And when someone puts it to you harsh or puts it to you straight to the point like that, no sugar coating, at times it's very challenging to accept it. Because you knew it all along. However, when someone comes along and they throw the message out like that, it's like, oh, snap. This bitch, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's not all about that. What it is, through her channeling, she is not patting you on the back. She's stabbing you in the damn throat. Change. Okay? Now, if you don't wish to listen to her message or panic, ma panic's message, fine. If you prefer someone else, fine. However, don't get all into the hating aspect because they have their way. We are a conglomerate of individual manifestations of the one creator or the one essence that creates all. Tao, all, nature, whatever. And we're individuals because we are connected to the whole however we get to see a specific point of view versus the other's point of view we're all contributing to the whole the reasons why you have people of the sorts like panic and alexis is because it's required nature manifests that which is needed that which is brought forth that which has to be heard so there's different types of messages to me this is almost like battling between the gangster rap thing versus east coast west coast it's simple if you don't like it don't listen to it and don't give it energy if you're sitting here there wondering about why panic or alexis says what they say and why they say it like that you're giving them energy and you're also allowing them to become more of a force in your life than your own damn self which is probably what you've allowed yourself to become victim to in other aspects of your life so those are just other perspectives so um as i said before if there's any questions or comments um send them forth peace